Racing Team Midnight was an elite group of young millionaires who had built insane tuner cars and then raced them going like 200 miles an hour on the freeways of Japan. They've had a ton of mangas, shows, and video games based just on them and they've kickstarted a huge revolution of tuning and racing freaking cars, alright? But how did they come about? And why did everything end in death? Well, that's what we're going to take a look at in today's video. And it all starts in the 1970s in Japan, when the economy was booming. Japan was the second world's biggest economy in the world. And because of that, everyone was freaking wealthy as shit. And what do you do when you're wealthy? Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, you buy a supercar for your kid. Yeah, people in these days were buying their kids Diablos, GTRs, fast cars okay they were like i'm rich as shit what do you want billy i want a goddamn ferrari all right there you go but i'm serious these people were buying their kids nice ass cars and these kids they're in school whatever their kids they don't have much to do so they would take them to the tomei expressway and they would cruise around they would hang out just look at each other's cars oh yeah and occasionally they would create clubs and race against rival clubs. Well, here we meet our hero, Aichi Yoshida. He was a street racer and he dreamt of something different. He dreamt of a special type of club, okay? This club would have a code of morals. These morals would mean that the club would put other people's lives above their own and they wouldn't endanger other people's lives for no reason. This club would be secretive so the members wouldn't get arrested or in trouble just for being in this club. And lastly, this club would be elite. They would be the best drivers and the best cars, and they would never lose a race, okay? And he would make sure of that by killing whoever loses a race. Just kidding. So after some time, he was able to find three other friends who were interested in starting a club like this, and guess what? They got together and they created this club called Racing Team Midnight. Together, these guys would build their insane cars and then test them against each other and just go like 200 miles for, per hour down the freeway. But there was a slight problem, and that's that the Tomei Expressway was becoming pretty overcrowded, okay? You've got all these kids just racing their really powerful cars, and they're young, they don't know how to drive yet, so that's just a recipe for disaster. And then there's all these people watching they would come to watch the races because obviously who wouldn't so you get all these spectators just gathering to watch plus these amateur racers basically a recipe for disaster because yeah these people would crash and then they would hit spectators and their heads would pop off and stuff like that basically group b rallying so because of all this street racing and death and destruction, eventually the police had to take a hand in this and they actually started shutting down these racers, arresting people and imposing strict laws. Well, that made it a bit difficult and dangerous to drive on this road and race on it because obviously you don't want to go for jail for just enjoying yourself. So racers moved to a new road. Yoshida and the rest of the Midnight crew moved over to the Wyngon Expressway. This was a new road and it wasn't very populated with the street racers at the time, so it was perfect for them to take advantage of. As they raced more and more on this road, they began to make a name for themselves. They were extremely fast and extremely good drivers, plus their cars were insane. The reputation that Racing Team Midnight gained caused a huge influx of members and at one point the club was at over 70 members which is quite a lot for this club which normally hovers around 30. In addition to this you get people who want to be members but can't and so they end up pretending to be members by just putting a fake sticker on their car and uh, those people would get a casual match thrown in their car or some gasoline poured on it because Racing Team Midnight did not want people pretending, so they would vandalize the shit out of their car, sometimes just burning it to the ground. Now this mostly came about because the club was too easy to join, and so Yoshida set about making some new rules, which would make it a lot harder to become a member, and also protect the current group member's secrecy more. First, to join your car had to be able to sit at 190 miles per hour for over 5 minutes, and if that's not already hard, which it is because most cars in that day do not go that fast, so they had to be extensively modified. 
If that wasn't hard enough, you have to apprentice with the club for a year, which means you have to show up for almost every single meeting, every weekly meeting, and after that's done, you have to be approved by all of the existing members to allow you in. So if even one doesn't like you, you're not getting in. This was probably the best thing that Yoshida could have done for the club because it made it a lot more selective, a lot more elite, and just had the most dedicated people in. This meant that the club could enter its prime. On a weekend, members would meet up at a restaurant or at Yoshida's shop, and they would hang out there a bit and play checkers or something like that, and then they would go off and street race at over 200 miles per hour. And keep in mind that these cars don't go that fast stock. No cars really went that fast. The fastest car was like a Countach, was like 205 miles per hour, and these cars were just crushing that. They were putting so much money into these cars. One of these was the ABR Hasoki 130Z, which was a Tune 300ZX, and there was the Blackbird, which was owned by Yoshida, and he put nearly $2 million into it. He even sent it off to Porsche in Germany, so they could fit parts from their 962 race car onto his car and build a custom engine for him. This car made like 800 horsepower, which was insane for the time, and it was extensively modified to look normal but be a wolf in sheep's clothing as these guys kept getting more and more obsessed with street racing the cars just kept getting faster and the club better and better but all good things must come to an end and in 1999 that end came because the members of racing team midnight were driving along when they got challenged by a rival biker gang to a race and it was against protocol for them to accept it but they did it anyways and those racers led them into a high traffic area of town, which is of course against their standard code of ethics and meant they ended up driving through traffic where an accident occurred. Two of the bikers were killed and six motorists were hospitalized after this. That night, Yoshida met up with the other members of Midnight Club and they dissolved the entire thing just because of that. No more fun street racing and no more insane tuner builds. Moral of the story is, Bikers ruin everything. If you enjoyed this video, then you probably like this one, which is about some underrated JDM cars, because as we all know, JDM cars be underrated and stuff on occasion. And that's a good video that I made once. <laughs> I actually made a good video once upon a time. Pretty crazy, right? You should watch it.